I'm here to advocate for what's going on in Idlib, to advocate for the humanitarian work we're doing on the ground. Unfortunately, the Syrian scene is back to the media, is back to the press with more tragedies. We've heard about Reham, the three years old girl, that she's been trying to help her sister, who's not even one year old. And unfortunately, she was able to help her survive for only one day. She went for one of the local hospitals in Idlib, and unfortunately, she died the next day. We should not be silent and waiting to see more of the Reham story, more girls and more boys dying under the rubbles in Idlib because of the ongoing airstrikes. We should do something and will continue to support the ambulances, the primary health care centers, the clinics, the hospitals working tirelessly day and night. We've seen one of the physicians who looked really hopeless yesterday went spiral on the, on the uh, uh, social media. And uh, we should do something for these physicians on the ground, supporting them at least emotionally, supporting them with the supplies, supporting them with all kind of means so they can continue doing their job. What's more important is to stop the bloodshed in Idlib. Unfortunately, airstrikes have been targeting hospitals, clinics, schools. We witnessed 39 hospitals and clinics being destroyed since the beginning of this bombardment, uh, end of April 2019. More than 1,400 people wounded. This is by itself a tragedy and just tells us that this is a discrimination against the civilians in Idlib. We have lost about 30 uh, plus uh, humanitarian workers, medical workers. We should stop the bloodshed and I'm, I'm asking the Canadian government here and the international community to stand up for their values and stop the bloodshed, to stop bombarding and targeting hospitals and clinics and abide by the international law, by the resolutions of UN, which mandate to stop targeting hospitals and clinics in Syria. Thank you very much for your support for our organization, Union of Medical Care and Relief Organizations and all medical relief organizations working on the ground and putting their staff at risk to help the children of Syria. Thank you.